Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a really cute project for you today that features a hand sanitizer. I love to make hand sanitizer projects. So this is a watermelon lemonade hand sanitizer. I actually saw some cuter ones online, but when I went to my store, that's all I had. So we're going to make it work. Um, this is the original construction um, I came up with about 10 years ago for hand sanitizer uh, holders. And I decided it was time to bring it back and to make something really cute with a new stamp set called Cute Fruit. Now you won't find this in the annual catalog. It's in this little mini catalog um, called the Beginner Brochure and it's on page seven right there. And you can also find it online and it's very inexpensive, only $16. All right, well, let's get started. Let's make our holder first, okay? Now, you guys, this was originally done on Facebook Friday, so you can click the link here. It'll take you to that post. Under the last photo, you'll find a link to this PDF. And here's the project, all the things I'm using, and all the measurements that you'll need. All right, so here is our Whisper, we Whisper White car piece of cardstock. It's two and a half by 11. And we're gonna score it at half an inch. And I'm looking at my notes so I don't get it wrong, one and a half two and a half, three and a half, six and three fourths, and seven and three fourths. Now, to cut the little opening for the hand sanitizer, um, I'm gonna use the scalloped circle oval, scalloped oval die. That's the one that I have found works the very, very best. Um, I've tried lots of different things in the past, but this one really just grips that, that sanitizer and kind of holds it with all the little scallops. So we're gonna do it on the very second little section there. Put that through. And let's move this out of the way. And now we're gonna burnish all those lines. This one right here is what we're gonna adhere to the back. It's gonna kind of roll into itself. All right, you'll see in just a second. All right, we're gonna put, oh, I've got some fuzz on here. We're gonna put some Stamp and Seal Plus there on that very first half inch tab, and then you're just gonna roll it into itself. See that, how it's gonna just kind of create that bottom? And you wanna make sure it's nice and square before you press that adhesive in, like that. Let me set it down so I can see, like that. There we go. So you guys can see how that is. That sits there. And then that can go right in there. Now to hold it together, I'm going to use these tiny little button magnets. I have these linked on my blog as well from Amazon. These are great. And I'm just going to use glue dots. I'm going to stick a glue dot there and a glue dot there. And sometimes I find that I need two glue dots on each side. So let's start with, let's go ahead and do two. Okay, we're gonna put that one there. And then we will put a glue dot there and a glue dot there, kind of overlapping. And let's make sure it closes nicely. And there we go, and that will hold it closed. All right, now the fun part, let's decorate the front. I've got a piece of designer series paper. This is the for every flower for every season designer series paper. I'm going to stick that right in the middle. And I've got a cute little label. This was cut with Hippo and Friends. And we're going to stamp the sentiment up in the corner in um, Poppy Parade. Okay, you see this has Poppy Parade in it. You're one in a melon. Now I've got a doily. This is a vellum doily. I'm going to just cut it in half. I'm going to get some dimensionals. See, I'm saving the stamping for the very end. <laughs> the very last thing we're going to do is stamp those cute fruit. All right, let's put that there. And then we will add a couple more right about there. And put that right in the middle. All right, now we're ready to do some stamping. Now, I have found that lining up these stamps is easiest when you use your stamparatus. So that's what we're gonna do. 
let's put on, down our whisper white piece and let's grab this. We'll do this part first. All right, we're gonna do just one. Let's do it, let's do it over here like this. All right, so lay it down on your paper. And when you first get these, they're pretty sticky and they might pull up your paper the first time you use it. But um, after you ink it and use it a couple of times, it loses that stickiness so it won't grab onto your paper and pull it up. Okay, Magenta Madness. A fun new in color. And then we're gonna take the rind and we're gonna lay it on. This is the one that I just, I couldn't, I couldn't line it up. So I thought, why am I even trying? Let's get the stamparatus. That way we know it'll stamp exactly where we want it. Okay. Perfect. I mean, it just makes it so much easier. So much less frustrating. All right, now I'm gonna actually, do I have a block here? Yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna stamp the lemon in So Saffron. I'm gonna stamp it twice, okay? Then I'm gonna get that outline of the lemon. And this was the same thing. I could not get these lined up, so I thought, why am I even trying? Let's use the Stamparatus. Use what you have, right? There we go, and we'll try again, although that one wasn't perfect. I can't see, let me pull it down so I can get my head right over it. I know I'm probably out of the frame, but I wanna be able to get that on there. Okay, let's do this one right there. Oh, ta-da, much better. Now, we don't have matching dies, that's okay. These are pretty easy to cut out. The watermelon, I'm just gonna go around the outside edge. Like that. There we go. And I found that I had a punch that will punch out these lemons. Now, this punch is retired, it's a three fourths inch circle, but if you still have it, you can use it to punch those out. And this one, we're actually gonna cut in half, like a half lemon slice. So it's okay that I was off a little bit. All right, now we're gonna layer these, but then we're not quite done. We're gonna add some shiny, glittery crystal effects to make these pretty shiny and kind of have a little more oomph to them. Okay. I'm gonna put that there and let's see, I probably need a mini dimensional for this one right here. Now for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna layer these up, but normally I would probably do the crystal effects and let them dry. And then I would put them on once they're dry. I'm gonna take the crystal effects and I'm just gonna kind of spread it around. And then I've got an old aqua painter. You can use an old, um, paintbrush and I'm just gonna spread it around so that the whole pink part of my watermelon is gonna be glittery and shiny and just look yummy and delicious okay so smooth it all out and then we'll do the same here and here. It will take some time for the crystal effects to dry, so you wanna give it plenty of time, probably a good 10 or 15 minutes. And there you have it. Now, don't use a good paintbrush because this is like glue and it will dry really hard um, if you don't wash it out real fast, okay? There you have it, what do you guys think? So cute, right? Um, these would make fun little summertime treats little gifts, especially this time of our season in life with the pandemic, everybody could use hand sanitizer. All right, you guys hop over to my blog, grab that PDF and get those measurements and make your own. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.